Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Kathleen Alcala. Just trying to make sure that I'm in frame. I wanted to share um, a couple of things. One, I want to um, show you this cupcake tin that I made. So I decided to join some swaps as I had very little inspiration at this time in my life. So I thought, what better way than to join some swaps? And you have to do it because you're on a deadline. So this one tin is gone through many transformations, but what I did was decoupage a napkin, which I had these shabby chic napkins here. So I decoupaged the napkin onto this, and then I antiqued it with penny, um, with um, Polly Pockets. I think Polly Pockets. Am I thinking of a book? Hold on. <laughs> Patty pockets, <laughs> stains by patty pockets, and it just was too dark. So then I had to go back and I gessoed it, um, or gessoed it. Um, and then I decided to throw on some um, dust, diamond dust. Let's see if I have it lying around here. Nope, I don't know where it is. I um, put some diamond dust on it, and then I tried to add a little bit of the pink um, uh, let's see, where did I have this? Oh, here we go. This came with the pink kit by Frank Garcia. So I put a few sparkles of, try to just blend a little bit of this color, but I didn't want to make it too dark. So I just threw in a little bit. So, so I do have a, um, pink kit. This is the book. Oh, it's by Prima. Sorry, not. I got it on Frank Garcia's site. Um, but I don't know what I did with the paper. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I, I just don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it is ridiculous. So because of this being sharp, I didn't want the person who received this to hurt themselves. So I put trim on here. I'm actually not done. I do plan to put trim on the, around the bottom here. So I will try, the challenge was to make it Christmassy. So what I did is, as you can see from all the sparkle, hopefully it's not sparkling too much. So in blinding y'all, I want you to be able to see it. Okay. So what I did is, um, I decoupaged, like I said, and then I do have the sparkles. I included one of these images from this pack. And these. This is a, a, a layers of quite a few seam binding, little, little trims. Let me see, get that a little close. I like that because it was sparkling, it was small, and I just put them through. Now to get them through that little tiny hole, I did group them all together and I got a piece of scotch tape and scotch taped them to a little point and then they all fit in there. Okay, and then um, what I did is, these are appliques from Crafty Me Shop, which you'll find her on Facebook and I'll include a post as well, or a link below. I cut up some appliques and um, so I still have like little, little shards remaining, rem remaining. So these are two colors of applique. So one had the pink flowers and one had more of like a whitish cream base. So I wanted to incorporate a little bit deeper of a pink. So every now and again, I did put a little bit um, of a pink, a dark little pink here. See? So that way um, it wouldn't look so flat. I was trying, the reason I put the sparkles because I felt it did not look very Christmassy. Let me go ahead and put that down. So today what I want to do is I would like to make some little things to put in here. I put these in yesterday when it was wet so the bottoms look a little bit funky doodle. So the challenge was, is going to be that we have to put little trinkets and little thing crafting supplies in these in these cups. So 
I want to do that with you today. I thought I could make some little crafty supplies and um, our little crafty things and some supplies and put them in there. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna move this so we can get started. So I wanna do everything super small. Uh, I pulled out, I have so many, oh my gosh, you guys, I have so much stuff from Christmas past. It's just not funny. Um, watch, I'm gonna show you this tray I have here. This literally took me all day going through yesterday. I have maybe eight big bins of Christmas supplies <laughs> in the garage. Um, so it was quite a task. That's just the images. I have paper, I have embellishments, I have ribbons. So it is a little bit wild. I'm gonna put this light here, you guys, just so I can get some light into this. Okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and dive in. One of the things I found was this little mini envelope. I thought it was adorable. It did break apart right here. Um, so what I'm thinking, I actually liked how I even had these envelopes and things in there, is I think I'm gonna make this for a little tuck spot. So I'm going to use my glue. My Helmer's glue that I was using before, I don't know what I did with it. It got lost in my sea of stuff. So I'm just going to use this just to, I have so not straight aim. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do this. I'll make sure I'm in shot to you guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that dry. I love that little Christmas image. Can you guys see that? That's like one of my favorite kind of looks. So I think I'm gonna to try to go ahead and put it on here. I might try, I think I'm gonna try cutting a little bit of that. I just want, to, ah, oh, I can't lift that up. A oh, bummer. Cause this is really little. Really little. I probably had better luck using my scissors, but that's all right. Okay. Shows how many times I've actually used that. I didn't remember how to do it. I always ink everything. That's just the way I roll. Let me find an inker. This is so old. I really need to get a new one. So I'm going to use Vintage Photo. It's like my go-to. Let's just ink that. So I want to put it on this tag so that you can see it frame it a little bit better. And let me pull apart and see what's inside of here. So these can be some bases for some things. That's cute, look at this little joy ticket. Oh my gosh, won't that be cute? Oh my goodness. When you just leave your stuff out, you never know, it, it makes itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. I'm just gonna glue the, four, the corners. So earlier today when I was getting ready to, to film, uh, record I should say, I had a giant accident here in my craft room. I scared the dickens out of my dogs. So I had um, somehow knocked over this big, tall glass jar that we have, and I had stuck another jar on top of it, and that just was not wise. So both jars fell and scared my dogs to death. I felt bad, but I also dropped my tea all over the carpet, so I'm like, oh, no good. Okay, so what I'm thinking is that, so I got a lot of trim, I mean a lot, but something this small, I wanna make it super easy, something really cute. Um, so again, I'm trying to match the tones of that tray. I'm wondering if I should just, um, would that go? I prime overthinking everything, which I've been doing big time. It's 
not my favorite fit look. I probably was, is, I'm wanting to do something else more than just that one little thing. Oh my gosh, that's cute. I like that. It'd be cute here too. But the only problem is it's going inside that envelope. So I don't want to do that. You know what? Let's just use this. I think it goes really well. Oh, wait. What am I thinking? <laughs> I got to eat this too. So today I just wanted to make a little ephemera for that tin. Um, I thought that would be rather nice. Let me cut this. Excuse my dogs. I got to tell you up front in case, which they're growling right now. I know I'm waiting for the refrigerator repairman. So every time they growl or bark, I think, are they here? And they're not. <laughs> so I think I'm going to put a bow on this. My fingers are too big. So how's everyone doing? I hope you're all okay. Things seem to be calming down in the world. Uh, oh my gosh, is that not cute? Okay, that's gonna work for now. Let's see if this is dried at all or if it's still wet. I want to slide that in there. There you go. I wish you could see her face. It kind of hits the wrong location. I don't know. Oh, well, for now. So this will go in my little cup. It's one of the things. Okay, moving on. Um, this little tag seems to work itself. You know what I wanted to do? I thought this was adorable. This make a little book out of this. Wouldn't that be cute? So some of these things, um, I've had them around for so long, to be honest, I don't even know where I got them. This, I believe, is Melissa Francis, and this is probably a pretty old. I used to go to, um, they used to have scrapbook expos here in the next town over, um, but they stopped doing that. Um, which was a bummer because I used to go and in the beginning I used to take a lot of classes when I scrapbook but I, I don't scrapbook anymore so then I started just going to shop so we would buy the crop you could crop all day we'd buy, buy that <clears throat> ticket um, for the Saturday and sometimes on Thursday we'd, we would buy um, their ticket as well it would be like um, a make and take day that was fun but what I did is ended up taking that, making that as my shopping, my shopping time. So we'd, me and my sister would craft. Sometimes my friend would join us. We would craft and then we'd shop, eat. You could take in all the food you wanted. So we would take in, I'd drink tons of water. So I'd literally roll a cart in with water <laughs> and beverages with caffeine because it's hard for me to stay awake. I find it very difficult um, when in a situation like that. So what I thought I might do is something little like that. Oh my gosh, isn't that cute? I think that's adorable. That'd be so cute to hang a dangle off of this too. A little dangle. I think I might do it. Like a dangle right here. Turn this into a little book. Okay. So if you're not into inking, you might want to fast forward to the end <laughs> to see the end results. I just thought I'd take my time today, guys. Um, I'm home today, unexpectedly. I took the rest of the week off. Um, my mom passed away a couple of weeks ago and I wasn't doing so good. So I asked if I could just go ahead and take the remainder of the week off. and. My supervisor and where I work, they're so gracious. They said, yes, take it off by all means. Um, so 
that's why I have it off. So I want to just go through this and see all these different Those are cute, the tree. This might be cute. For inside page. That might be a little thick though. So maybe I should consider using paper paper. Uh, which, let me decorate this first and then I'll get some paper for it. Let's see. I happen to have a piece of paper here. How perfect is that, right? So I think I can just make a couple of pages. That would be fun. wrinkled but that's okay okay so that will be I think my inside page this page right here would that be cute like that Anyway, um, so getting back to the topic when I was saying about my stuff. So a lot of this stuff is probably vintage by now. <laughs> it's so sad I've lived long enough to become vintage. <laughs> That's a really sad thing. Um, so anyway, um, this is probably, whoops, got the wrong way. Probably some of these things are actually really vintage. Kind of like that, like that. Feels like it needs a little something. I'm not sure exactly what that little something is, but I'm gonna look for it. So I still wanna go try to keep in the pink range, pink family. Um, Okay, I'll probably do that. Let me glue this down. Um, I don't know if you guys shop Melissa Francis at all, but she's having a sale right now. You guys might want to check out her charms. A lot of her charms are a dollar. At least it was a dollar. I don't know what it is now. That was during the beginning of the week. Excuse me, I got to drink my tea. So you might want to go to Melissa Francis and check that out and to see um, how much your stuff is now. Maybe if I did this instead. No, can't see it. There seems like there's a lot of different sales going on right now. I bought so much stuff this last week just because things are just like incredibly priced. I keep hearing the scare that we're not, we're going to have a scarcity during winter month, Christmas, because of the, how they can't bring in their stuff, um, the cargo ships. 
So it has been a little bit of a, a worry, but I don't really know if it's a real thing. I don't really know if that's just trying to scare the heck out of everybody <laughs> so that we, I wonder if this could pop out like that. I like that. I just don't know if they're just trying to scare everyone to buy things or if it's legitimate. I just don't know. So, um, so I already started shopping for Christmas a little bit. I don't normally shop this early. Usually, I have to be honest, I'm one of those that are like the last minute. Seriously, I will be shopping on Christmas Eve <laughs> at four o'clock until they kick me out. <laughs> oh boy, I'm just that way. Um, but it's the funnest. I love shopping under pressure. I don't think about it. I just buy it because I know that I'm on a time crunch. It's the best way to shop. Let's see if I can get that stick down. Come on, bad boy. I think I'm just going to stick a little glue under here. Okay. That was a little wonky, but that's what I was going for is wonky. Just a little wonky. Okay. How cute is that? You know what I think I'm going to do? Instead of sewing the signature on, I'm going to use string. Let me get some string. Hold that on, everybody. Doesn't matter if they're on there or not, because I can just slide them in. I can slide them in. Okay. Okay. So what I want to do is create some kind of a tassel situation. Let me just tie it on there, so I can just get that down. Okay. Hmm. It's giving me grief, y'all. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> okay. So there's that. Uh. Okay. Let me just move that a little bit. I think it might be a little too tight. Okay. So I'm wondering if there's any way humanly possible that I can create a little mini tassel. I don't know how big to make it. I guess that's probably going to be too big, but we shall see. We shall see. I guess it would have been helpful if I had cut a piece of string out earlier, right? Sometimes I do things without, um, obviously I do things without thinking about <laughs> Everyone's going clearly. Oh uh, boy, I hope I, I'm not frustrating y'all too much. Um, sometimes people drive me crazy. I can't even take it. I'm like, I can't take it. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
<laughs> Let's see how this comes out, guys. I have no clue if this is even going to work. But I'm going to give it that old college try, right? A little bit. Worked a little bit. How's that? Let's trim that up. Trim that up. Trim that up. Just a little bit, right? See, I can hang off of here. But I'm thinking I might need to... I kind of like the idea of having something around that. I have little trims. I'm not sure if this burgundy would go. It might. That's cute, but it looks so springy. Hmm. that too big? It's kind of crushing it, huh? I don't know. So if it's sitting in the tray, yep, it's got to have the pink. That's how I determine things. Okay, so I don't need very much. I am just going to glue that on. I'm a big time gluer, if you guys haven't noticed. I have a sewing machine. I have needles and thread. Um, but I like to glue. It's easier than me. I, there goes my dog, Cosette. No barking. Oh, she's growling. Okay, so, um, wait, where the other half goes? This, oh, this is it right here, that knot. So anyway, I glue a lot. My eyesight's not the best. I have a lot of issues with my eyesight because I do um, have an autoimmune disease that causes a lot of issues with my body. And the older I get, the worse it gets, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna hold it so it dries. And then, um, See, I might even shorten it. But I kind of like the long tassel look. Let's see if I can get that on there. Hmm. Good question is how I want to put that on there. Tie it on, I guess, huh? Okay. So what I'm going to need to do is somehow get that on. And tie this on. I might come up with a better way to do this as time progresses. For now, I'm gonna have to try it this way. think do you think I should get rid of the string or do you maybe chop it off a little bit kind of like it I think it's cute okay let's slide those papers in come on papers let's slide in gets this might want to do actually do something with it outside of what I just did okay 
there you go. That's my second second thing to go in here. I'll put it in this another. I'll put it over here. See? Okay. Alright. Let's see what else I have to play with. Okay, so there I made a tag with an envelope. I made a little book. Um hmm, trying to think something else I could do. Maybe actually make just an actual envelope. That could be fun. So I have, which you guys cannot see off camera, is a bunch of different kinds of papers. This is the um, definitely not <laughs> pink Christmas, but it has pink and I love it. So I am going to use maybe this piece right here and make a little envelope. I'm just going to cut. Okay. I'm just going to fold it up here. My bow folder. Try to get that down. Kind of makes it smooth. Today I put jazz music in the background. You probably, you probably can't hear it. I can hear it. And I have my air purifier going, so it sounds so soothing in here. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I'm gonna fall asleep soon. <laughs> I put slow jazz on because I wanted to honor my brother-in-law. I was thinking about him today. It's his birthday. He unfortunately passed away three years of Alzheimer's, I believe, not dementia. I always get those two confused. And um, he was a wonderful man. I really love him. And so today I put the jazz on for him. Gotta ink everything, guys. So I'm thinking of leaving this like a little page where a person can write a little something something. I think I'll put at least a piece of little blank piece of paper on here. Okay. I have some pink paper in my pile. Oh, better close this up. Fabric tack, I'm telling you, if you don't close it up, like in three seconds, you're going to have a big old bubbly mess. <laughs> I wonder why that is. I wonder why they can't change that. I mean, you know, a product seems like you would keep perfecting it until it got better. And I feel like they can't <laughs> give up. <laughs> We're not going to try anymore. Okay, so I don't can't find my little piece my pink paper that I had here. So what I'm going to do is improvise, which that's the name of the game, right? Um and use the back of this. So I'm just going to cut. Horrible cutting. I never cut straight. Okay, guys, so just to let you know, I'm not a perfectionist, all right? So um, if you're a perfectionist, this video will drive you crazy, so step away. <laughs> I'm kind of fly by the seat of my pants kind of girl. So um, I don't want to make anyone nuts by watching my video. <laughs> so you guys are going to need to um, literally step away if it's just too much for you. 
course, they gotta ink this because it's just not right, leaving it so white, right? Okay. And let me see. Be careful not to put too much glue. I know I have my other glue. Um, the, the other, the little thin glue, I can't think of the name. See, it already got all jammed up. Jeepers. Jeepers, man. That's what I'm saying. Can't they figure that out? Hello? Who's Beacon? Are you listening? Can you please improve on your fabric tack? Are the three in one? Both of them to me are the same thing. They both bubble over. Oh, I hate that. I think I put a lot of glue on that. Oh shoot, I put, got too big there. You guys can see that it went over. I'm just gonna trim it up. Ah, not even. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do, but it worked out that way, so therefore it is fine. And there's a little white showing. Let's put that up. See, that's why I think that this, my ink pad might just be a little too old because it takes a ton of banging on the pad, the felt pad, um, just to get any ink. See? That's cute. What I want to do, I have little stickers. Let's find those little stickers right here. I could put a little sticker inside or a little sticker to hold it down. I don't know how cute that would be. Right? Okay. Let's see. Ugh. Okay. Look at how cute these stickers are, you guys. Look at Those not cute? Love them. Okay, so I'm going to get a sticker to hold this down. Maybe the 25. hold that down and then I gotta put a little something on here that can't go undecorated god forbid <laughs> I, I like to save all my little extra something somethings because you never know when you want to use it again right um, these were the little shards from actually making the um, the tray yesterday see they came like that um, I might have more lying around because I like to use up those shards. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way and put it back into my bin. I oh, ha ha. That's a big shard. Wow, it's really different, isn't it? So I have a question. Do you guys have problems with your scissors getting dull really fast? See, I have ribbon scissors, I have paper scissors. Ribbon scissors, get this. This is like 100 years old and it's still fantastic. But it's, it does need help. I think I need a new pair. These are Tim Holtz tonic ones and I didn't buy them that long ago. And it's hard to cut. And I hate to throw, keep throwing things away. Our landfills are so full. Does, if anybody has a suggestion on what to do with scissors to get them to be sharp again, let me know. We used to have a person, a business here that sharpened knives and things, but they closed down like forever ago. I recognize we're a disposable society, but I don't like it. If I could get some advice, I've tried, I'm sharpening them on my knife sharpener. It might sharpen it just a little bit more, but not that much, you know? So if anyone has any ideas, I'd like to hear it. Okay. Now I need like a little flower or something on that corner. Ooh, look what I found. How about a pearl? Ooh, love it. 
Okay, let's cut that off. Ugh. See what I mean? How hard that was? <laughs> Ooh, that's too big. Okay, let's just trim that up. Just a tad. I like the that it has a border. Yeah. Okay, let's put some glue on that. Ah, ah, way too much. I ran out of my wipes. I always have hand wipes, they're wet. I ran out of them. So now I'm living on the edge. <laughs> okay, let's hold that down for a sec. That looks better, yeah? See, that looks 25 not thrilled with that 25 to be honest with you okay I feel like it needs to be floral that's better not much prettier okay let's put it in the tin I gotta put one in each tin at least right Alrighty. Okay, moving on to something new. Okay, we've got a tag, we have an envelope, we have a little journal. Um, what are some of the other things we could make? Let's see. Let me look for some inspiration all of a sudden. Oh, I have use my reach okay so <clears throat> this was I believe from the Melissa Francis one too the little star is cute cut this out Isn't that cute oh a ticket Ooh, that'd be adorable a ticket I like that that's the ticket <laughs> I wonder if this one would be better. Ticket. Let me see, guys. Well, you could see the little thing better, right? I think the colors would go. I, want, I could put some pink. I guess everything doesn't have to be pink, right? Oh, I think that would go real pretty. Okay, let's start making this. Ticket. So what are you guys working on for Christmas? Are you guys already done with Christmas? I saw a video title, or I was watching a video on YouTube where this woman said she was done already with all of her Christmas journaling and she was gonna move on now to other things. I'm like, wow, <laughs> I just started. <laughs> I'm like, she must be like a, a making, journal making machine. <laughs> Okay, there's that. I mean, that's really cute. Little kittens. Okay, let's move that out of the way. So, I like to layer. So, I'm thinking, I wonder how this would look under there. I think I like it. Cute, huh? lacking one thing it needs some muslin hold on guys I'm gonna reach over oh well you know what I wonder how this would look just a little peek showing through I have a bag a little scrap paper see <laughs> and then I and that looks real good, like, right? Like it's in control. Mm -mm. I have a giant box <laughs> over, over there <laughs> that has bag after bag after bag oy, of leftovers. Now, I don't want to lose integrity of the ticket. So how am I going to do that? It's kind of turning it. 
gosh, it's turning it really big, but that's okay, I guess. I kind of wanted this to show the music notes because I love the music notes. Let's, let's bring this down a little bit in size. Let's see how that works. Is it upside down? Gosh, that's the right side right there. Out there, and a star here. Okay, sync everything up. Then I'll decide right before I glue <laughs> what I'm going to do. sure how old this little music paper is. I think it's actually vintage. Um, I think I still like this up there. Okay, I think everything else is inked. Okay, let's just start gluing. If I take too long to do this, I'm going to be here forever, right? So I also signed up for um, doing some swaps. Um, Christmas swaps. I signed up, there's a 25 day of Christmas that I signed up for. And then I signed up for, um, let's see, a 12, I signed up for a 12 day of Christmas and then a 25 day of Christmas. I just signed up so I don't have much done to be honest with you. I have nothing done, let's put it that way. So um, I need to start cracking on that and um, get that done uh, so I'm actually looking forward to it I'm enjoying doing this I thought when I signed up after I signed up I thought what did I do um, but I'm glad I did okay kind of feels like it needs a little bling or something doesn't it feel really like just paper Lace or God, something. Um, I look round. How about a flower? The flowers are kind of big. I bought the matching flowers, but they are a little big. That's kind of cute, huh? Let me see if that works color wise. Let's check. Do you think that works, you guys? It feels a little off, like it's orange. I don't like it. I want one this size. Mint green would be good. See, the problem is I took them out of the package yesterday and did not put them back. Now, God only knows where they're at. I have these, but they're way too big. Way too big. I need something smaller. Uh -huh. Wait, same color, huh? Wait, this looks more pink than this, but this might work better because Let's see. Do you guys go through this much of a process for such a small little thing? <laughs> I guess we can make it work. I think this one's better. Okay, let's just do this one. Um, sometimes I think I overthink things. And I need to just not do that, but to just put it on there. Okay. Hold it down for a second. Better cap that. God only knows. So down the road from where I live, they are building a ton of homes. We're so upset by it. They said it won't impact our street or anything. Yeah, right. Um, but all I hear is a sound of beeping all day long. Till wee hours of the night, till the sun goes down, basically. We hear the backing up. There you go. Okay, let's put that in our tin. Okay. 
that going to fit? Well, I guess I could put it like that, yeah. Okay, so I got a, a gift tag, I mean a tag, a tag. You know what? I should decorate this envelope, right? Or should I just leave it? It feels so plain. Oh, God, I got to put a little something on <laughs> Then we, oh, this didn't stick. Look at. I bet you this doesn't isn't gonna work for this. It's probably enough, not enough sticky down below. Let's see how that works. So we have that. We got the little journal. We got the little star. Let me decorate that little envelope a little bit better. That can't be. This can't be. I mean, I I don't want to cover that so you can't see, but. Yeah, we gotta put flowers or something on it. This could be really adorable, right? Just like a little sweet something. A little sweet something something. Okay. I never know which side is the right side. So I figure if I can't tell, then they all must be the right side. <laughs> I'm just going to put this right there in the corner. Just a little sweet something. Not much, just a little something. For that matter, this looks really sad too, doesn't it? Like it needs, maybe, I wonder if I did like a matchy-matchy thing. Oh, I like that. Isn't that cute? Cute, cute, cute. So very, very cute. Whoops, that was the wrong scissors. I'm going to try to get a little bit of that green. I can at all. Okay. I really, really like that. It covers up some of that big ginormous hole right there. That's what I'm going to put. Let's see, I'm just going to put it on here. Oop. Cover the glue. I think it's this side. That looks so much better. It's too plain. Just too plain. Okay. Let me leave it out a little bit so you can see her face. Uh, maybe not. That much cuter now. Oh, mayday. I'm gonna hold that down for a minute so keep the glue down. Maybe I'll put maybe I'll put this one in this corner. In this little note card here. Okay. All right. Now what else? <coughs> Let's see. I wonder how long I've even been doing this. Let me make one more thing. Let's fill up the little tins with some fun things. And then I will let y'all go if you are still there. <laughs> okay, so we got a ticket, got a star. Um, I have so much stuff. Oh, you know what? I have the cutest little cutout stuff. Look at this. That's so cute, right? There's that. There's these stickers. I think they're all stickers. Look at that little angel, how cute. I gotta do something with this. Okay. Maybe just make, what can I make? I wish I could make just like a little postcard or something. That would be so cute. But I don't have anything that says postcard. Um, 
I wonder if I use it. He looks like kind of a grouchy Santa. I've never used this, like way old. So I am going to use decorate this. Mm, gotta ink it first. Grunge it up a little bit. The other side. So it's just not completely pure white. Okay, these are cute too. Look at music. Oh my gosh, I love birds. That's this is like what would be or is one of my favorite images. There's all kinds of little images on here. Look how cute. On there. That is really pretty. That'd be great to have right piece right here on its own. Happy New Year. The birds I love. Santa. Hmm. This is, I don't know how old this is. ATC collection. Memories in the making. I don't know. I've had it for a very long time. Okay. Let me think this through. I know I want to use these little angels. I want it to be this way. Ooh, look how cute these bands might be. Gosh, there's so many cute things here. And little alphabets. Let's try this. See if I can get it to actually sit straight. Uh. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can get this one to sit straight. Not perfect. But it will do. These are from Heartwarming Vintage Stickers. I don't, Crafty Secrets, I don't think they make these anymore. Um, remember I was talking about Scrapbook Expo. I bought them from there. They used to have the most amazing sh um, booth at Scrapbook Expo. Every year I spent a fortune because I didn't know where else to get things like that. Because I love the vintage, the romantic look and um so i would save my money and stockpile there i'm not a scrapbooker anymore i have i morphed into card making banners and paper crafts and then i discovered the world of junk journaling and oh lord <laughs> that was it for me hmm these are all so cute let me see how they fit Oh my gosh, look at that little kid with the newspaper. I kind of like that little kid with the paper. Let me see. Look how cute he is. Does that come out? Yeah, it does. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. I'm probably going way over time. I'm just enjoying myself, that's all. Cute. Is he? Is he, is he, is he? That is really cute. <clears throat> I don't know if there's anything else in here that I can use for that. Happy holidays, maybe. But that's so big. Oh, for it is in the giving that we receive. Amen to that. I love that. These have a glossy sheen, so probably the inking doesn't really even stick to it. That's cute. Oh, and he has like little gifts. Oh my gosh, that's like perfect. Oh, look, look at that, how cute. For it is in the giving that we received. And <clears throat> let me look for something too cute to put on it. Let's see. There's trim. One rosette. Let me figure out what I'm going to put here. 
See, these were all the trims and ribbons that I pulled thinking these I might be able to use because I like the colors. The color palette matched uh, my tin. Maybe it's going to need to be this one. Hmm. Okay, for now I'm just going to use this. Although, if I find something else, I would like something smaller. <clears throat> yeah, that's not going to work. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to need to find something smaller to use. I got a great big bag of lace. pom-poms. That might be really cute. Maybe, maybe not. It's kind of bright pink. Kind of looks too pinky. It's springtime. Well, that could work. Could be. Could be working. I want to do a little something something. That doesn't work. I wanted something that doesn't work. <clears throat> okay. Maybe string. Maybe go back to my whole string world. Um, I got pink string. I do have this. It's kind of cool. Maybe. That could be different. It's a different texture, which would be kind of nice besides the same old lace. Let me see if I can get this actually in that small little space. Oh, there goes my dogs. They're signaling me to hurry up. Wrap it up, they're saying. We're tired of being down in here. They, they lie under my bed. I'm um, my bed. They lie under the um, craft table. I put a real fuzzy blanket so they'd be completely happy up down there. Oh yeah, I do like that. It feels kind of schoolish. Okay. It's a little white. Now I feel like this doesn't look right with this whiteness, but... Not much I can really do about that. I wish I had a little mini flower to put on here. Well, I could put a big flower, but that would cover the kid. <laughs> Defeat the purpose. Let's see. Is this stuck on there forever? Let's see. If I put the little kid here. Kind of sticking off. And I put the big flower here. Do you guys think that works? I don't know if that works, but definitely needs something to be covered up with there. You guys, I'm gonna let you go. Why? Um, I will continue to work on this and um, let me put my tin back. Okay, for now, we have this little envelope which I'm going to change that up because I don't care for it. So these are the things that I made today. The little envelope. This, which I'm going to change. And this. And the little journal card. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Um, I hope you have a really good day and that your life is going well. Take care of yourselves. Thank you. Bye-bye.